Adam Davis. I'm a research ecologist with the USDA Agricultural Research Service and an associate professor in the Crop Sciences Department at University of Illinois. Why are you at the OI? Uh, ARS often embeds its units within universities in order to create synergies between state uh, scientists and federal scientists. What's the Harrington Seed Destructor? The Harrington Seed Destructor is a new device, relatively new, a few years old, that was created by an Australian wheat farmer named Ray Harrington in order to deal with his herbicide-resistant weeds. So what does it do? The Harrington Seed Destructor takes weed seeds that are captured by the combine harvester during crop harvest and puts them through a cage mill that turns them into a fine powder and kills them. And so essentially even seeds that are really tiny like those from um, pick a weed, yeah, uh, water, water hemp, hemp, big weed, and it crushes them so that they can't germinate or at least when they fall to the ground they, they're they unable to germinate because they begin to decay. Yeah, that's right. So we've already done some work with the HSD as a stationary device where we put um, seven different weed species into it varying in size from really small like water hemp to really big like cocklebur and none of them uh, survived. We had greater than 99% destruction for all of them. What's your hope with this? My hope is that the HSD can take some stress off of our chemical tools which are rapidly failing. As everybody who farms in central Illinois knows we have serious problems with herbicide resistance here and really across the nation now in uh, grain production systems. And a lot of that is because we've placed so much reliance on the chemical tools year in, year out that we've developed. Are there some weeds that are in-field problems, meaning they spread in-field and some that are not? Sure. Um, so seeds that fall from plants through gravity, like in species like pigweed or water hemp, velvet leaf, those are mostly infield problems, although they can spread long distances through grain contamination or waterfowl or things like that. But then there are other weeds like mare's tail, um, horseweed, and that can go very long distances through wind transport. So this is to control things like water hemp? Yes, yes. So for things that fall right near the mother plant, this is the way to control it. Is it likely that farmers will buy one of these themselves? Can they use it, you suppose, in the future? And is there a future for it in the United States, do you think? Yeah. I think the current model, which is a tow-behind model, is pretty expensive for an individual grower to own. It's about 180000 bucks. But there's an integrated model coming, about a fifth of that, about 30000 bucks. That would be an aftermarket kit or bolt-on, and I think that would be within a price point that an individual grower could do. And the work you're doing will prove whether this is worthwhile or not. Exactly. We're looking at this field contains an ALS resistant population of water hemp, and we're trying to see whether using the HSD on it can prevent it from spreading and becoming enriched in ALS resistance.